Welcome to the DZ Report. Don't you know I love haters? Now, gold price forecast XAU slash USD aims to recapture a thousand dollars and seven a thousand and seven hundred dollars as DXY turns subdued. Fed policy in focus. Gold prices are advancing towards $1,700 amid a subdued DXY on the U.S. warning to China. U.S. President Joe Biden says the U.S. military would defend Taiwan if China strikes the island. A third consecutive 75 BPS rate hike is highly expected from the Fed. Gold price XAU slash USD has turned sideways around $1,680 after sensing a fragile hurdle in the Asian session. The precious metal has shifted into a markup phase after delivering an upside break of the consolidation formed in a range of $1,654.35 to $1,669.80. The yellow metal has rebounded firmly after refreshing a two-year low at $1,654.19 last week. The gold prices are expected to remain volatile ahead of the interest rate decision by the Federal Reserve. Um, Per the consensus, the Fed is expected to announce a third consecutive 75 basis points, which is your BPS interest rate at hike. However, doors are open for a higher rate as price pressures are needed to contain sooner. Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar index, which is the DXY, oscillates around the critical support of $109.50 as market veterans have slashed the U.S. growth rates. Economists at Goldman Sachs have trimmed the growth forecast for 2023 the U.S. gross domestic product, or the GDP, is expected to increase by 1.1% as Fed's tightening path along with the current restrictive policy will prove less room for growth in the scale of economic activities. Also, the risk profile will be at play as U.S. President Joe Biden says the U.S. military would defend Taiwan in the event of an invasion by China. Gold technical analysis Gold prices are advancing towards the demand zone in the narrow range of $1,692 to $1,693 on an hourly scale. The precious metal has crossed the 50 period exponential moving average EMA at $1,676.45, which adds to the upside filters. Also, the relative strength index or the RSI. 14 is on the verge of shifting into the bullish range of $60 to $80. So now the information, the information on these pages contains forward looking statements that involve risk and uncertainties, markets and instruments profiled on this page are for informational purposes only and should not in any way come across as a recommendation to buy or sell in these assets. You should do your own thorough research before making any investment decisions. FX Street does not in any way guarantee that the information is free from mistakes, errors, or material misstatements. It also does not guarantee that this information is of a timely nature. Investing in open markets involves a great deal of risk including the loss of all or a portion of your investment, as well as emotional distress. All risks, losses, and costs associated with investing, including total loss of principal, are your responsibility. The views and opinions expressed in this article are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of FX Street nor its advertisers. So, you know... So, yeah, that's just a little something to read off. Um,
talking about the gold prices and basically how the market is if taiwan is invaded by china a lot of things could mess the investment up of um, excuse me it could mess the market up not investment but mess the market up for gold price and things that um, are associated with taiwan that we are investing in and it could mess it up if um taiwan is infiltrated by china you know um china has been on the radar of, of making taiwan one again with uh, china and bringing it back and taiwan doesn't want to taiwan loves its independence its freedom its ability to do what it wants you know if they go under china rule then they got to follow everything china does or they might end up dead you know all this allegedly i'm talking about all this stuff i'm talking about is allegedly so you know we don't know all right now dow futures tick higher after indices post their worst week since june by oliver gray investing.com u.s stock futures were trading slightly higher during sunday's evening deals after major benchmark indices posted their greatest weekly losses in three months with investors remaining cautious and pers amid persistent inflation fears ahead of federal reserves two-day meeting and rate decision later this week ahead in the week market participants will be closely focused on the federal reserve's interest rate decision following a hotter than expected cpi reading that boosted expectations for a third consecutive 0.75 percent rate hike lifting fed funds rates to a target range of three percent to 3.25 percent investors will also be monitoring building permits and existing home sales as well as the s p global composite pmi and initial jobless claims on thursday on the corporate earning front front companies including darden restaurants incorporated which is the nyse colon dri Costco Wholesale Corp, which is NASDAQ, colon, COST, C-O-S-T, General Mills Incorporated, NYSE, colon, G-I-S, and Leonard Corporation, NYSE, colon, L-E-N, are slated to release results. During Friday's trade, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 139.4 points, or 0.5% to 30,822.4. The S&P 500 dipped 28 points or 0.7% to 3,873.3 and the NASDAQ composite lost 104 points or 0.9% to 11,448.4. On the bond markets, United States 10-year yields were at 3.451%. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's the thing going on in investing. Um, make sure you guys are checking daily. You know, you guys are checking daily. You know, what what's going on. You know, the trade is changing by the day. So don't just go by um, what I'm reading to you guys and everything because it could change up. The market is very fickle. That's why it's good to get an advisor when it comes to stocks and comes to investing. So, you know, you know how that goes, but I just wanted to bring you guys something different, you know, 
So you know how that goes. But let me know, man, how you guys feel about the information given. Um, is it something you think you'll look into? You know. I'm trying to see something. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it on my dashboard. All right. Let me know if it's something you want to look into. Um, the gold thing is very interesting. You know, that basically is tied into if anything happens with Taiwan, um, how that will affect the market. You know, because war, you know, I've heard. I mean, I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, you can correct me in the um, comment section that war usually changes the market. And with the high inflation, a lot of... Um, Things are going either up or down. It depends on how it is. So thank you guys, man, for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Um, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notification. If you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by going to my description box, hitting that link to my cash app, donating whatever your heart's desire. And, you know, I got to get into this investing more and stuff, dog. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm very, very bad when it comes to <laughs> explaining a lot of this stuff. But um, just wanted to put it out there for you guys in case that you didn't know what's going on. Um, thank you guys, man, for your love and blessings. And this is the Deezer Report. We're signing off. Peace.